In this video, we're going to learn about making tables from data frames. So either one you're hand entering or one you've imported using a CSV file. So this will make us a nice pretty table in our compiled PDF or HTML document that we're using from our markdown. So I have prepared this one uh, file here in our markdown called making tables. And in it, I have in put in some information of this table I'm going to make. So this is information about some of my creature friends that you may or may not have seen in some of my classes. So about who they are. So for example, there's Norman. Say hi, Norman. Norman is a hamster and his favorite food is crumbs. Yeah, it's true. You love your crumbs. Then we have Gilda. She's a flamingo. She likes pink lemonade because she's very pink. Then we have Wilma. She's really a platypus, but she says she's a duck. And so she likes bread because that's what ducks do. And then there's Wampa, who is a Wampa, and let's be honest here, Wampas like the tears of their enemies more than anything else. So that's some information about my friends. Now, I have them in vectors. I need this in a data frame. So I'm going to create a data frame called my animals. And I'm going to make a data frame going data.frame with name, animal, and food. Now, if you were importing a CSV file and you saved it to an object, it will automatically create a data frame for you. So if that's what you're doing, you don't need to worry about this preliminary step. But if you're entering your data by hand, you have to make sure to put your vectors in a data frame. So let's just take a quick look at what this data frame looks like. Uh, to do that, we need to tell it to print the data frame. So I will put the name of the data frame. So now it's created and it's going to print it. So we have information on all of them. But when I go and I knit this into my PDF document. And now we have our PDF. So we can see this is what the data frame looks like. There's nothing very pretty about it. There's no lines. There's all these weird uh, pound signs on the sign. We want to make this into a nice and pretty table. So let's close this and look at what we got to do. All right, now let's take a look at what we need to do to get this into a proper looking table. So we're going to use the knitter cable package. So K-N-I-T-R double colon cable with a K. Now the minimum you need to put in here is you need to specify what uh, data frame you want to typeset. So it's going to be our data frame animals comma then what type of table you want. I like to put it into type but you can put whatever you like. I will show you a resource at the end of this video of where you can find some more options. Now, the those are the two things you need. The other things that I like to know about are changing column names. So here, my column names aren't bad, though I'd probably want capital letters. But if you're downloading from a CSV, you might have columns that are named things like GA. But if you're putting it in a proper table, you'd want it to properly say goals against. So let's put in some proper column names. So it's going to be put in as a vector where each uh, entry in this vector is going to be the columns in sequence from left to right. So my first column is going to be the name column, the capital N. Then my second column is going to be the animal column. And then my third column is going to be the food column. That's how I'm going to name them. And then the other one I like is the align, sorry, comma, align. And when I type that, it's going to give me the options here. So we'll see it's going to be a character vector. So it's a vector with the C at the beginning where we are stating L for left, C for center, and R for right of how we want to align each of our columns. So I have three different columns. So I'm going to have three different alignments. So let's say the names I want to have left aligned. So I'll put an L in brackets. And say the next two I want to have center align. So we'll put CC and then we'll close that out. Now there are other options you can put in. You can put in titles, you can put in footnotes and annotations. Very, very basics of making a straightforward table. So let's knit this to see what it's going to look like. And we see we have this nicely made table. Now the pipe uh, formatting. We'll see it has these horizontal lines around the headers and then another horizontal line at the bottom. It doesn't have any 
vertical columns in it. But we'll notice the names are left aligned and the animal and the food are all going to be centered. Now, if you'd like to know a little bit more about other options you can do for making your tables, uh, let's go take a look at a website and I will have this link dropped in the file video description for you to go and look at this website to find a little bit more about other options. But you can always Google the knitter cable package and it will help you look at different tables that other people have made. So if we go online, you will find a really great book made in Bookdown called the R Markdown Cookbook, which you, I believe you can also get as a print version. Uh, but if you go to chapter 10, it will have all about the knitter cable function. So at the beginning, it's going to give you a bunch of different supported table formats. So we have the pipe format, there's the simple format, the HTML format, and the LaTeX format, and the RST as well. So you can go through your document and try all of these out to see which one is going to give you the look that you are wanting. You'll also find that there's lots of different ways of changing things. So column names changing here, specifying alignment, putting captions, all the other stuff that you could want. So this chapter 10 of the book down, our markdown cookbook is a great reference for trying to make extra formatting things on your table. And again, I will put a link to that in the place where you download this video. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy making some tables. Oh, wait, what, one second. What is that? Apparently Gildy wanted to say hi. She's a little bit shy. She says she hopes you enjoy making tables too. Thanks Gildy.